They have drawbridges. Well, it's not really a bridge. It's just a gate. They don't like normal gates. The camps are getting crowded. What's going on here? Slaves? Legionnaires around? Are they, like, telling them up? Excuse me. No problem. I need to rest. What do we have over here? Remember, we're here for Benny. So exploring all the little bits matters a lot. I think. Oh. Oh. How did you find your way up there? Trying to... Oh my god, you're going to fall down here. Seriously, how did you find that way? Hmm. Oh, there's a lot of unmarked... Well, there's one... Un there's two unmarked locations on the minimap. Sorry. Compass. How did you get up here? By going up the stairs. That's... You know what? Hey. You are a child. I can't wait until they let me fight. They don't let you fight? Well, the Legion is canonically conscious of child education. There are crosses up here with plastic skeletons in them, as you do. Oh, these ones had real skeletons, and then the skeletons fell over and went into the wind, because that's, you know, or some animals, rats or whatnot, came over and took the bones. Because that's what happens. And we are up here again, I think. The camps are getting crowded. You mean those camps? I think some of them are not loaded in the distance. They probably should. This My, my mods have a lot of problems with long distance detail. Uh, excuse me. You have glasses. Don't you know that's... Uh, I don't know what you consider a sin or something. I don't know what you're. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent legionaries. I'm quite proud of them. Are you harsh on the children? Because that other dude said he, he, could, he wasn't allowed to fight. So there's apparently a drawbridge here. It's not a fort called drawbridge. It's a, a bridge, and a lot of people are coughing. And this guy. There's a lot of people coughing. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. I didn't hear that before, but that's a very common saying by the Legion. Would you please stop it? I'm trying to observe the setting and trying to like... Trying to be comprehensive about our exploration, really. What's going on? So many tasks to attend to. Yes, you're going to attend to a lot of tasks. I, I also... What a strange floating robot. Is it useful for anything? Yes, it kills people. It, it, you'd probably have a good time with it. And then we have the best boys. Hello. Hello. And the best girls. Hello. Lupa, wait. Did the other one have a name? No, just a little legion mongrel. Then you have a name. Anthony. Outsiders are a rare sight at the fort. Step carefully around here and you might just leave alive. I'm Anthony, master of the hounds. Definitely not Anthony. Absolutely you're not Anthony. I... Nice dog. Lupa? Yeah, she's the mother of a lot of our best dogs. Ah, she's getting old, but still a tough old bitch, ain't you, girl? What can you tell me about uh, Legate Lanius? It took years for Kaiser to conquer Lanius's tribe. And Kaiser showed mercy to the survivors, allowing them to join the Legion. Had the positions been reversed, Kaiser would be dead. Lanius is called the Monster of the East because he never, ever shows mercy. Hmm. Eh, I had some other questions. Okay. Where does the Legion get its dogs? We breed them. The most powerful breeds are from Denver. The city is overrun with them. And that means they, they're most powerful? That's interesting you wouldn't think that but then again you train these dogs been doing it since i was a boy mongrels know to listen when i start talking to them okay well let's talk about something else okay tell me about yourself i've been around dogs all my life 
They are my life. Always were. All the way back when I was a tribal. One of the hang dogs outside Denver. Dogs roamed that city. Our tribe made peace with them. We thought they were our spirit animals. Helped us hunt, provided for us in some lean times. And then the Legion came. Hmm. How did you end up joining the Legion? Hang dogs fought with honor. We were the last ones standing, but they broke us by throwing our dogs into the fire. Our elders couldn't bear the idea of our spirit animals burning in the afterlife. Still, Kaisar was impressed enough to conscript us, to use our skills with dogs, to join the Legion as Hound Masters. Okay. Farewell. Hmm. So that is the first example that we have, concrete example, of a, a tribe. We have a Havitzer over here. I don't know how to, how to say it. Without a replacement firing mechanism, this Havitzer is useless. Where is it aimed at? We're looking at Southwest. It's aimed at Boulder City. At least right now. And we found Caesar's tent. Somehow I think we it, we didn't because the because I don't, I'm not nowhere near a tent. That's Caesar's tent potentially. I think it is actually. Excuse me. Is this Caesar's tent? I'm looking for him. The new slave girls are quite beautiful. Okay. I believe it is. Hello. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Do you do that automatically, or do I need to go in through the interface and do that to them? Probably does that automatically, because it's like Mr. House. In a lot of ways, the great duality of this game is Mr. House versus Caesar, rather than the NCR versus Caesar. Although it isn't. In, in the more immediate and relevant political ways. True to Kaisar. No. Uh, in the more immediate and relevant political ways, it's definitely... It's definitely Caesar, uh, Caesar versus the NCR. I guess Mead versus the NCR. Oh, there's another kid up there. And another mongrel. So there's two kids here. Hey. I can't talk to you. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. So again, it means that they're protective over their kids. I don't know what that guy was saying about being rough on the kids. I'm a friend. It's okay for you to talk to friends, right? I guess that's okay. Um... If you're a friend, can you help me? Maybe. What do you do here? Um, I help take care of the Brahmin. I sometimes bring water and food to people. Um, that's it. That's fair enough. What did you need help with? Anthony took Sergeant Teddy away and gave him to the stinky dogs. I really want him back. Could you please get him for me? Why did Antony take him away? Antony said he was punishing me for trying to hide it from the Legion. Ah, uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Yep. Sergeant Teddy. Goodbye. Bye. And it's just a note, so I don't have a quest marker. So good luck me trying to find her. I do know where Teddy is. So oh, sorry, where Antony is. You think it's a kid, but it is this guy. What do you need? I need you to... Uh, give me Melody's bear. The stupid girl should know by now that even the rags on her back are a privilege. My mongrels like their new toy. <laughs> I'll make you a proposition. If you can kill four of my best hounds with nothing other than this machete, I'll give you the bear. These are the rules. You can't use your armor. You can't use your weapons. Just this machete. After all, it's only fair. Can I not use my hands? Because that would be even more fair, if you know what I mean. You don't mind if I kill them? Such bold words. <laughs> my dogs will tear you limb from limb. But should you prevail, they will die honorable deaths. Mm, no, it won't be honorable. I, you should, no, no, not really. I am very unhonorable with all of my abilities. Yeah, let's do it. So you finally decided to face my hounds. <laughs> this should be interesting. 
Okay, well, I have Eddie with me. I also have the weapon that I don't want. Let them fight it out no, it's just... I don't know why Eddie is here. Eddie shouldn't be here. Eddie, please don't punch them. I think I don't think they are gonna punch them. So look at how honorable this is. They no, they get them knocked over, and then and then basically don't fight for the rest of the battle. I'm not even using my special ability because obviously I'm not. It is the worst ability. It's very difficult to activate. With the duel concluded, your regular equipment has been returned to you. Well, Eddie, thank you very much for staying with me. My regular equipment has been, indeed, returned to me. Um, Anthony, killed your dogs. Do you like that? You killed my hounds, and I was certain they would end your life. You call, a, call that a challenge? <laughs> Take the bear! I can't believe I lost some of my best dogs over this stupid child's toy! Ugh, your stuff is in a crate next to the arena entrance. Leave it there too long and we'll dump it in the lake. Yeah, because... for sure. Farewell. Yeah. I think I have the stuff already, so it's not that big of a deal. Raul. Right behind you, boss. Yeah. Eddie never left me. You should learn. Actually, I say he never left me, but to be fair... He's all the way over there. I don't know what he's doing. Either way, let's find Melody. You're not Melody. You're tiny, though. Hey, have you seen Melody? If you're injured, I might have healing powder to spare. Hmm. You're a doctor. I never finished my training. The Legion saw to that when they overran my town. I do know basic first aid, but I've had to rely on tribal remedies to treat illnesses and injuries. I'm always running low on Xander root. Never run out of Brock flowers, though. I might have some. You're using one Brock flower per Xander root, right? Oh, I've been using two roots per flower. Thanks to you. I'll be able to create twice as much healing powder per day. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about Legatus? The Legate is not a man to be crossed. Especially if you're a woman. That's all I will say about it. That I'm Fortunately for me, I'm, I'm a man, so... That's, that's good. I have some questions. What do you want to know? Uh, where are you from? A small town in New Mexico. The Legion burned it a few years back. That's how I ended up here. How long have you been a slave? Three years and counting. If I could just get across the river, I'd be free. Not that I'd try it. I've seen what happens when you get caught. Yeah, your explosive necklace explodes, I would imagine. That's an explosive necklace. At least that's the same explosive necklace that the Brotherhood gives you when they, when you find them, basically. Because the... Unless you have Veronica, which I did. Because their first mission is like that. How are women treated around here? We're property. If you're too young or too old, the men usually leave you alone. Usually. Okay. Alright. I'd like some healing powder? I can only do that if you're a friend of the Legion. I don't want to get crucified. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Still didn't find Melody. Oh, wait, are you Melody? Hello. No. I need to rust. You do need to rust. Brahmin steak over here. And some Brahmin carcasses open. We haven't seen that yet, have we? Some people over here eating. Just a legionary and a slave. Wait a minute. There's people in these tents? Legion Vexillarius. The camps are getting crowded. Yes. There's plenty of beds in the middle of the night, but still. Hello? Hey. Wait. My feet are killing me. I don't understand. Don't fully un Oh, hi, Otho? You are here to fight in the arena. Then you are talking to the right man. I don't, don't know that I... Tell me more about the arena. Such as? Uh, the arena. Light armor and machetes only. The challenger may be pitted against one or more opponents. All matches continue until one side is dead. 
No exceptions. What do you do? I train the warriors here. I also set up the fights in the arena. When a Legion soldier follows my teachings, he will learn to think like a Legion soldier. He will learn to fight like a Legion soldier. And he will learn to die like a Legion soldier. No, I was gonna say, let me guess, like a, an, a bug or like a, a mongrel. But no, it was like a Legion soldier. Soldier. I should have seen it coming. Who, who, who does the fighting? Most of the time, it's some young legionary trying to make a name for himself, hoping to get noticed by Kaiser. We pit slaves or prisoners against one another, but it's not much of a show. They're usually too reluctant to kill each other. Well, that's enough about the arena. Let's talk about something else. Like what? What can you tell me about the Legate? A great warrior. When he was a recruit, I watched him kill ten men in the arena with his bare hands. He doesn't feel pain, and he never shows mercy. If the legionaries were like him, the legion would not be stopped. But since it, the legionaries are not, then the legion will be stopped? Is that the conclusion? Go. I don't know, Otho. You need to think of your words True to before you say them. So, a lot of people in here still looking for Melody. I think she's she's got to be, like, uh, uh, in the camp down there or something. We haven't come down here yet. There's fewer crying people. There's a satellite radio here? Or something. A lot of training. Oh, excuse me. None may enter without Kaisar's permission. The weather monitoring station. Yeah, that would be... That would be uh, the satellite dishes, I assume. Can make some healing powder. She's down here! I think? Hi. Hi. I got Sergeant Teddy's... He's a little chewed up. That's okay. I'll fix him. Can I have him now? Here you go. Thank you so much. There we go. Bye. Bye. And I got a little bit of karma for that. Of course, it's going to have to be offset by me fighting in the arena. Because, obviously, you'd lose karma, right? I mean, I don't know who I'm going to fight. If it's Legionnaires, then I suppose maybe you wouldn't. What do you need from me? I'd like to fight in the arena. That can be arranged. You will be facing off against a couple of disobedient slaves. Not much of a challenge. Mm, I'm ready. Remember the rules. Light armor and machetes only. And of course, to the death. Got it. I'm ready. Good luck. See, this is what I'm talking about. They, uh... They absolutely... They absolutely, uh... Should, should make me lose... Help! Lose... Yeah, help, indeed. <laughs> a single punch, and he's like, I'm out of here. But should make me lose... Karma for this. Oh, you're running away now? Yeah. What about you? I'm out of here. Yes, I know, but, like, you need to die. Dude. Damn. Yeah. I don't lose karma for it, though. I... L he lost his leg. Hey. Hey. As expected, it wasn't much of a fight. But what can you expect from slaves? I'd like to fight in the arena? There's a captured NCR trooper available, Sergeant Andrews. He's already been challenged once and survived. I'm ready. Careful in there. He's tougher than he looks. Over here! Uh, yeah, I know you're there, you idiot. Also, this game has two arenas, interestingly enough. Yeah! Hey. Up. What? No. Do you want me to do the other thing? Because I'll do the other thing. Let's do it. This thing. Just very different. That's the one. Yeah. Not very honorable. Oh, you're getting up. Good job. It is, but you should know that from the beginning. You lost all of your limbs. And I also didn't lose... Karma. And I also didn't... Re re didn't lose... Oh, I'm fighting with the gladiator armor. I also didn't lose... 
reputation with the NCR, which is interesting. A good fight. Some NCR troopers can be competent fighters. That one wasn't. I like to fight in the arena. I have a dangerous one for you. An NCR ranger by the name of Stella. We got lucky since we rarely capture rangers alive. Even though she's a woman, she's killed every man that faced her in the arena. Even one of the elite Centurions with her bare hands. I'm ready. Watch out for her. She's one of the deadliest fighters I've ever seen. Yeah, that, that you you really hype it up a lot, but that's that's nothing here. Let them fight it out among themselves. What do you think this is? Fight it out among themselves. She actually resisted that, I think. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, that definitely worked out. Don't question it. Oh man, she. You like that? I no, I'm not that into that sort of stuff. Sorry. She's blocking even while she's down. Good job, game. She is blocking while she's down. Unfortunately for you, I am overpowered as all heck. I'm also playing on normal, but I'm just focused focused on unarmed, you know? Dude, just go. Go down. Like, she hits like a truck. But this is not... <laughs> that is special. Did you see what I did there? That's absolutely disorienting and bad. That is correct. Oh, she didn't explode like the other ones did. Why? That's weird. Unbelievable! You defeated Stella in combat? Can I fight more in the arena? Sorry, but there's no one left who would be a challenge for you. You have performed admirably. A feat worthy of the Legion. Nah. Go. Yeah. I I took half my health in damage there. That's not bad at all. So I think we've explored everything in the camp. Where's Benny? Anyway, my companions. You must enter Kaisar's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Hey. Wait here. Okay, boss. Let's go. Hey. Legatus Linnaeus is known as the Monster of the East. A name he has earned many times over. Yes, and he made you all twitchy and afraid of things. Hello. Hello. So here we are in the presence... True to Kaiser. No. In the presence of uh, Caesar. Kaiser. He's got Marcos Aurelius, I believe. Is that is that who that is up there? There's a prisoner there. Who's that? Huh. Fancy meeting you here, Mr. Benny. You idiot. So hi. That's him. I believe that is Marcus Aurelius. He could be actually Julius Caesar. But it would make more thematic sense for it to be Marcus Aurelius. Because they, uh, they don't know Roman history. They don't know how to pronounce words. And they don't know how to say things. So, hey. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. The Great Khans aren't exactly clamoring to fight for my legion now. The Kings of Freeside are cooperating with the NCR now, which frees up soldiers to defend the dam. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? You guaranteed my safety. You, you know, you asked for me to come here, and I sort of did that. And you fell for that? Really? Because I'm going to have you killed now. Relax. I'm fucking with you. You do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you, so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave? You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat? 
You visit the tops, and next thing you know, the head of the chairman is fleeing the strip like a whimpering little pup. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? I'm pretty sure he says a lot more than the lines he's saying regarding what I've done so far. But there's a lot of other things that I can do to make his life worse or just to make myself notorious. And he goes on and on if you have done that by the time you come here to the Legion. Because you can leave this whole thing until the last part of, uh, of the game. And of course he goes on forever. I think his dialogue becomes better paced if he only says a few examples. That's That, that was good. How do you know so much about me? I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. See, it's what I told you. It's the legion versus the house. What do I have to do? Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip Benny was carrying when we captured him. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. Hmm. It's funny because Mr. House told me to find that bunker and... Um... He, say, he didn't say exactly what was inside. He said that I would see, but he didn't say what it was inside. And I'm going to ask, what's on the other side of those doors? Benny's theory, if I understood it through all the screaming, was that Mr. House stashed some kind of ultimate weapon down there. A gigantic robot to stomp us all to death. Who cares? Whatever it is, House built it. So I want it destroyed. Can't your Legionnaires take care of this? Yes, but then I'd have to kill them. You don't get it, do you? The weapons I wield are forged from blood, flesh, sinew, bone. Mortal stuff. Fragile, even. And yet my legion obeys me even unto death. Why? Because they live to serve the greater good, and they know of no alternatives. House's machines, his technologies. What do they propose? The possibility of victory without sacrifice. No blood spilled, just rivets. That's not an idea to be put in circulation. If mankind's going to survive this moment in history, it needs warriors, not gadgets. Hmm. Uh, there was the, th the theme again of selflessness, this time of sacrifice. I say selflessness, but, you know, the, the greater good, the working for the greater good. Which very much is the idea that uh, Wolbers in Kulta makes come across in Nipton. But he's, his criticism of gadgets is, is sort of funny. It's kind of interesting. Because it, it, knowing how the game ends and what the possibilities are and all that sort of stuff, it has... It has repercussions. It's not, the first time you hear him say that, it's not the same as the second time you hear him say that. Because it Im has implications that are not immediately obvious to us at the moment. And once I'm inside... I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there with your weapons and equipment. Talk to Benny on your way out. He knows I'm going to let you decide how he dies. Maybe you want to remind him. Come back when you've destroyed whatever you find down in that bunker. Hmm. I got the platinum chip. That guy just left Benny over there. Who's this jerk? Oh, it's what was in Colta. You don't look... The camps are getting crowded. I didn't think anyone could kill an NCR ranger in single combat. Hell yeah. 